Hey, what's up guys? Leroy here and today coming at you another segment for a photo lesson. Uh, we're gonna be talking about volume photography, which is something that I do a lot of. Uh, I've been doing it for since 2013. So man, that's, that's 10 years, 10 years of volume photography. I've learned a lot throughout those uh, 10 years. And there's a lot of do's and don'ts that most people probably would not know. So I'll try to give you guys a few tidbits um, on volume photography. So as you saw in the video before, we we're at a local high school. Well, actually, it was not a local high school. It was a high school a little bit out of our network, but we had a coach from one of the schools we worked with. He moved out to another school and he, uh, he invited us to come out to his school district and do some photos of his kids, his uh, wrestling team, his powerlifting team for them to uh, use for like marketing and stuff and for the kids to have nice photos of them from their, you know, whatever year they're in, if they're a freshman, sophomore, senior, junior. So we were out there to take those photos. And as you could tell, volume photography is very, very um, systematic uh, versus like normal photography is very creative, right? So we're getting our lights set, we're taking our time, we're evaluating the shot, we're making sure everything works perfectly and then we click and then we have another, you know, change the pose just a tad, move the hair, and then we click and it's just so much slower pace. With volume photography, what we normally want to do is we want to set up a scene, right? And have that scene that can work for 100, 200, 50, 25, how many players you have, and everybody comes in that scene. And you might make small tweaks and small adjustments as needed, but for the most part, that setup is what they're gonna stick with. So you're probably asking, how do I get more variety in the shots? Well, one way that we get variety is we have students bring in different props. So in this shoot, you probably saw some people with a dumbbell, or you saw some people with a bar, or maybe somebody with a bumper or a plate. Those are ways that we get that individuality out of the shoot. Now you also probably saw Gage uh, using the smoke, the can atmosphere aerosol. Uh, obviously you see that pop up on our channel a lot because atmosphere aerosol is something that we use to kind of take out of that, take the photos out of that normal next, next, next. We try to add a little flair to it within the setup that we make so it still can look high end, but at the same time it's still is volume photography and we can be able to get people in and out of the scene pretty quickly. With this team, I think there was about 40, somewhere between 40 and 50 people. So it wasn't too bad, uh, but it was somewhat of a challenge because it was their first time actually working with us. So we'll know next year, they'll know next year what to look, look for and uh, when we come for the shoot. Obviously we're running all this through uh, Got Photo and we're printing directly to Miller's after the customer orders. Uh, Miller's, we've been partnered with them since day one of our business. I think we started off with MPix, and then after we got some traction and built some speed, we ended up moving up to uh, Miller's Professional Imaging, which has been one of the biggest partners in our business since day one. And uh, we appreciate everything they do for us and always making sure that orders are taken care of and clients are happy. Uh, we, haven't, we haven't had a bad experience with them in over 10 years, so as you can see, we're just sticking with them. Um, we also use Got Photo. This is our third year with them. They've been absolutely amazing. They help us keep everything organized to go out. So whether it's a small team of 50, like I said, I mean a small team of 5, 10, 15, a basketball team, all the way up to a team of like 100. You know, they are the people we, that we use to keep everything organized. Galleries are made, QRs are sent out. You probably saw some footage of people scanning QR codes. That's what we're using to stay organized so that Millers can get all the jobs. Millers can get all the orders and send them right to the client's home. So just want to give you guys a peek under the hood at what volume photography is like and why we love it. It's a great way to, to run your business and be able to forecast some revenues that are going to come throughout the year. Let me know if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And as always, thank you guys for tuning in. Have a great day.